Hello. This evening, I was going to do a video on just my casting setup. Um, I've got a Lee production pot. It's the four pound. I'm sorry. The ten pound production pot. I don't really need anything as big as the twenty pounder. The ten pound costs less, so I saved that extra money and you know I still crank out just as many bullets so for me I'm pretty good with that beside of it I got a little loaf pan with the spoon I use that to get my dross um, whenever I flux this pot I've got my welding gloves to the far right the little red container holds some paraffin wax that I use to flux the pot with in front of the red container, I've got these Strike Anywhere matches. I use those uh, dual purpose. When I flux, I immediately light it so that there's not a lot of smoke. Uh, below that, you see my mold. It's the Lee 230 grain round nose tumble loop mold. And then I've got a little wooden handle that I use for a mallet. Sometimes I use that to open the sprue plate, but most of the time it's to uh, drop the bullets. The noise you hear, pan up here to the uh, window, I've got a fan, and I've got it set up on high to pull out the vapors and the smoke and stuff. So, you know, even though I'm down here in the basement, I still have very good, adequate ventilation, which is very, very, very important. Right now I've got the pot turned on, it's warming up, I'll put some lead in it, get the lead melted. I do water quench um, my bullets to make them a little bit harder. Over here to the right, that's my bucket with water. That will end up in the floor uh, to the left of me to where it cannot and will not get into the lead pot. One thing I wanted to point out right quick what little bit I was talking just a second ago I had the pot turned on and warming up uh, a lot of people running theirs like on seven eight nine you know that's fine that's fine that's if that's what you want to run it on mine I leave it on six I just don't like for it to get too hot and at six it flows perfect I mean there's great flow and just to show you you know you can see the lead is melted and I did not turn the pot up on high in order to melt it and then cut it down I just turned it on six and left it on six and the lead that was in it you know it, it melted pretty good some more of that draws out and the other question I got and a lot of them can see on Iraqi veterans website uh, YouTube channel he uses corn cob ingot molds because they do fit perfect in in these um, pots. So you know what I do is I'll I'll sit me about two or three on the edge here and uh, just let them warm up and then you know once they warm up a little bit I put them into the pot. At the temperature they are now, if I set it in there, here I'll just show you right quick. It won't, it won't take too awfully long. As you can see right now, the lead in the pot is good and solidified. When you set this down in there, as you can see, one fits nice. There's two. There's three. Four. So as you can see, I can fit five of these corn cob ingots. I can fit five of those in the pot. Um, that's 
probably about four pounds of lead. But the reason why I was talking about earlier making sure it's warmed up, as you can see, I can't move them now. It was so where the lead was cool, it slid a, it um hardened up the already liquefied lead. So once it comes back up to temp, it'll remelt down. By laying your ingots along the rim of the mouth, you're doing two things. You're bringing the ingots up to temperature so that when you place it into the lead, it melts a lot quicker. Number two, I don't have a lot of humidity in this basement. I keep a dehumidifier going and heat. However, some places you might have little droplets of water, something that you do not want to incorporate into this because an explosion is just not great. So by doing that, you'll evaporate evaporate um, most of the water droplets that might be in the pores or whatever of this lead. Now, being on six and just what little bit I was talking to you, as you can see here, it's already started to liquefy again. So. Not much more than six is really needed. Uh, I guess it depends on the age of your production pot. Mine is still relatively new, even though I have cranked out quite a few thousand bullets through it. But we'll get this melted on down. I'll uh, I don't know. You can probably see it right there. I probably don't need to smoke my uh, mold anymore. So, I say my mold is pretty prepared. But I'll show you another little trick I do here in just a second as soon as this gets melted down.